Neptune, the icy blue giant at the edge of our solar system, has always been one of the most mysterious planets. Invisible to the naked eye and rarely studied in detail, it silently orbits our Sun more than 30 times farther out than Earth. For centuries, its secrets remained hidden behind a veil of clouds and distance, until now. On June 5, 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope, WST, detected something strange, something it wasn't supposed to see. While its infrared sensors were scanning Neptune's upper atmosphere for chemical signatures, the data stream suddenly lit up. There was an intense flash, a short burst of heat and energy, concentrated in a region that was previously cold and undisturbed. NASA scientists at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore immediately took notice. It wasn't a solar flare, it wasn't atmospheric interference, and it certainly wasn't a comet, said Helena Morris, one of the Webb team's lead astronomers. It was something, something massive. What followed was chaos. Alarms didn't ring, but people rushed to their terminals. The Webb telescope had recorded an enormous energy spike near Neptune's south pole, something consistent with a high-velocity impact. Within moments, multiple telescopes around the world, including Hubble and ground-based observatories in Chile and Hawaii, were repositioned. All eyes turned to Neptune. The images started coming in. Something, something truly gigantic had collided with Neptune. But it wasn't just the fact of the collision that stunned scientists, it was what followed. The James Webb Telescope picked up a lingering infrared afterglow, unlike anything ever recorded from the outer planets. Not just heat, but structure. Something remained suspended in Neptune's upper atmosphere, distorting the shape of its southern hemisphere. Webb's infrared camera captured what looked like a rippling shockwave, expanding outward like a pebble thrown into a cosmic ocean. There was no debris field, no meteor tail, no icy asteroid fragments, just the aftermath of impact and a strange signature in the atmosphere. But how could that be? As experts scrambled for answers, they noticed something else. Neptune's magnetic field had fluctuated, briefly and sharply, at the same time as the impact. That change was recorded by probes like Voyager 2, still sending data from the edge of the solar system. Theories exploded. Was it a comet? A dark object? A rogue moon? Or something never before encountered? But one clue stood out the most. The flash had a repeating pulse. And this wasn't natural. NASA ran the data through AI analyzers. It wasn't random. It was a signal. The AI results sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The energy flash that came from Neptune wasn't just a light signature. It contained a repeating frequency pattern. Three pulses, a pause, then two, a pause, then one long pulse. It wasn't Morse code. It wasn't human-made, but it was structured. Within days, top physicists, cryptographers, and SETI researchers gathered in a closed-door conference held virtually between NASA, ESA, and the Chinese Space Agency. A leak from inside described it simply as the most urgent decoding attempt since the WOW signal. The idea that something artificial had hit Neptune sent the world into a frenzy. But there was still one problem. The object, if it was an object, had no visible approach trajectory. JWST data prior to the impact showed nothing in the vicinity. It was as if the thing had appeared out of nowhere. NASA tried to calm the public. A press release called it a rare but natural high-mass collision, possibly from the Kuiper Belt. But internally, scientists weren't buying it. The web images were enhanced. What they revealed was jaw-dropping. The structure in Neptune's atmosphere had symmetry. It wasn't a cloud or shockwave anymore. It had straight edges, triangular outlines. Something big, almost the size of Texas, was partially embedded in Neptune's gas layers, and it was not disintegrating. It was staying intact. Infrared readings showed internal temperature changes. Something inside was still generating energy. Some suggested a spacecraft. Others leaned toward an unknown cosmic object that had properties unlike anything in our solar system. Then, something even more bizarre happened. 
12 hours after the collision, Neptune's atmosphere began emitting low-frequency radio waves. These weren't from Neptune itself. Scientists knew the planet's typical magnetic fluctuations. This was something else entirely. The frequency matched the earlier infrared pulse pattern. It was trying to communicate. A group at MIT's Haystack Observatory ran the radio signal through linguistic AI models. While not a language per se, the signal had grammatical structure, repetitions, breaks, and mirrored segments. More importantly, it responded to Earth's probe pings. A pulse sent from Earth's deep space network at Goldstone received a matching echo back from Neptune 4.2 hours later, the exact time it would take a light speed signal to bounce between Earth and the planet. It wasn't just random, it had timing. The implications were terrifying and exciting. What if this was an object sent to make contact? What if it had missed Earth on purpose and targeted Neptune instead? Or worse, what if it had been pushed into Neptune by something even more powerful? Meanwhile, strange things continued to happen. Voyager 2, which had been silent for months, began transmitting distorted data packets as if its sensors had picked up residual waves from the impact. Some of those data packets included previously impossible spectral patterns, patterns that resembled organic chemistry signatures. Could something alive be inside? As weeks passed, Neptune began changing. Its blue hue shifted slightly, not visible to the naked eye, but Webb and Hubble's high-resolution sensors showed increasing density in its southern cloud formations. The object, or structure, that hit Neptune was no longer motionless. It was slowly moving, as if it had self-propulsion. Astronomers called it the hidden visitor. New data showed that magnetic anomalies on Neptune were being amplified, suggesting an internal energy field around the object. Moreover, the strange radio signal was now being emitted in multiple bands. One pattern stood out a triangular waveform that looked eerily similar to the Fastos disk, an ancient artifact from Earth's Bronze Age still undeciphered. Was this a coincidence? Then came the biggest twist. On July 14, 2025, NASA revealed a new image. Webb had detected a small spherical object emerging from the structure inside Neptune. It was slowly drifting away from the planet, headed outwards, towards space. It wasn't a meteor fragment. It was metallic, roughly 30 meters wide, and appeared to be scanning, emitting short radar bursts. NASA confirmed the object was now on a controlled trajectory, moving toward Uranus, then potentially towards Saturn, and eventually Earth. The world reacted with awe, confusion, and fear. Had something crashed into Neptune accidentally? Or was it all part of a plan? Was Neptune chosen as a test? A hiding place? Or worse, a sacrifice? Some scientists posited the collision was an insertion, a way to plant a long dormant probe or life form into Neptune's atmosphere. Others believed it might be a message that the outer solar system was no longer under our control. Inside NASA, debates raged. Do we attempt contact again? Do we prepare defenses, or do we wait and observe? The James Webb Telescope continues to monitor Neptune 24-7. The structure remains embedded, slowly changing its shape. The magnetic signature is stabilizing, as if it's powering up. The small probe continues its silent journey toward the heart of the solar system. The final question remains, what did it want? And more haunting still, was this the first or just the beginning?